Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Now in this video, we have to deal with only the characteristics of 741. Now as far as characteristics of 741 is concerned, it's nothing but the characteristics of operational amplifier in short. First characteristics that we have to learn. It is very high input impedance and that is nothing but the requirement of amplification is concerned. Ideally, we will say for 741 input impedance is equal to infinity ideally that means open circuit. We will relate this open circuit as far as the circuit diagram internal circuit diagram is concerned. Second is low output impedance. Now practically 741 gives you the zero output impedance that is zero output impedance right and this zero output impedance indicates that it is nothing but short circuit. This short circuit also we have to take for your internal circuit diagram we will look into the short circuit what do you mean by short circuit open circuit at the input side and output side so in short we have learned two characteristics right now high input impedance and low output impedance important for your amplification point of view third one is high voltage gain specifically very high differential voltage gain Now what do you mean by very high differential voltage gain? That differential voltage gain gives you the factor AD which is nothing but V out divided by V2 minus V1. You can write V1 minus V2 if V1 is non-inverting terminal and V2 is inverting terminal ka voltage. No problem at all. V2 minus V1. Now if I say that if ideally ad tending towards infinity then i can say that v2 minus v1 tending towards zero that means v2 is nearly equal to value of v1 and that is why the uh, intention of this operational amplifier is we are having very very less difference in your input voltage and that less difference also sensed by this operational amplifier so this is your third characteristics very important characteristics as far as operational amplifier 741 is concerned high differential voltage gain fourth one is it is having very high current gain fifth one is Obviously, if all are high, power gain is also high. Sixth one is very high bandwidth. Now, what do you mean by bandwidth? Very high bandwidth. I can operate from X to Y value of frequency such that this x minus y y minus x is very very high so this is nothing but the range of operating frequency so if my input frequency input signal ka frequency is uh, let's suppose 100 hertz then also i can operate if this input frequency same signal ka frequency if i increase up to uh, 100 kilohertz then also i can use this 741 at the same time right then also i can use this operational amplifier without any distortion in your output signal so this is very much advantageous characteristics 
unlike your BJT and FET amplifier is concerned. Seventh, this is having a different name that is CMRR. We will look into the specification video. Just refer my specification video. In that, you will get to know that what that CMRR is. That CMRR is nothing but common mode rejection ratio. Common mode rejection ratio. That means how much noise how much common mode gain you are neglecting how less my common mode gain is right so how much common mode output signal we are having depending on that this cmrr is decided so this cmrr is nearly equal to infinity for 741 if this cmrr is infinity for ideal operational amplifier then what will be the value of CMRR just go through the specification video and again come back in this particular video you will get to know that what that CMRR is it's nothing but the ratio of AD divided by ACM AD divided by ACM so to have we'll say to have CMRR tending towards infinity I have two options either I keep AD is equal to infinity and ACM is equal to zero so we'll say this ACM tending towards zero and your value of AD tending towards infinity we have this first characteristics that is high differential mode gain and very less common mode gain as well such that my CMRR will tend towards infinity. Basically, this common mode is nothing but coming from noise. So I want to avoid noise. That's why we are reducing common mode again. Eighth and last characteristic is slew rate. This also will come in your specification part as well this slew rate is nothing but v dv divided by dt dvo divided by dt how much your output voltage is changing with respect to time ideally the value is tending towards infinity right this slew rate is calculated with unit volts per microseconds. So for each microseconds, how much volt change I'm getting for your output voltage of operational amplifier. Ideally, it should be infinity. That means I want abrupt change in your output voltage. And that is why we are using this particular operational amplifier in your all digital applications. Ideally, it should be infinity. That means I will say that abrupt change I will be getting. To have this infinity, I don't have any change in your time so delta t should be tending towards zero and your delta v o should be tending towards infinity infinity is not possible and that is why we are having abrupt change but practically it is not at all possible so should be as high as possible for 741 we do have 0.5 volts per microseconds this is actually high as far as less low power technology is concerned so this is how we have completed our characteristics of operational amplifier this question will come in your university examination for only five marks there you have to write in a step by step one two three up to eight all the characteristics you have to mention and explain as well thank you so much for watching this particular video if you like this video like share and subscribe this channel of ikeda thank you so much